In the previous lecture, we covered how to convert the search component over from AngularJS to Angular. And in this lecture, we're now going to do the same thing, but with the card component. So if I open up the card component here, there's a couple of things with the card component that we're going to have to deal with that we didn't have to deal with when we did the search component. Now the first one is that the card component uses a filter, an Angular JS filter, a custom filter that I created called default image. Now filters in Angular JS are one of the things that you can't actually migrate over to Angular. We're going to have to rewrite this default image filter over to an Angular pipe and then use that pipe instead. And if I scroll to the bottom, you can see here, we're also using a third party package called ladder, which is the ladder buttons give you the animated effects when you click the button, which kind of give you an indication that the button is actually do the, the, the user, that we're waiting to complete some action. So it's kind of like a spinner, adds a spinner to the button. So that's a third party package. And we're going to have to deal with that as well. And we're going to deal with a ladder, this ladder third party package in this lecture, by leveraging a more modern version of the ladder package, one which works with Angular. The one we're using here is obviously only works with Angular JS. And just to show you how this component is used, if we go into the person list component, we can see that we're using this card component in, in an ng repeat loop. So in fact, the card component is this individual component here of an individual person. So let's begin and we're going to start off very, very similar to how we started off with the search component, which is we're going to base, basically convert this using a component decorator. And we're going to add it to the bottom like this. This is going to decorate class and for the class, we're going to take what our controller was. So I'm going to uh, grab that, I'm going to export it and then put it here. And it's not a controller anymore, it's a component. It's good to keep the naming convention correct. And we're going to delete that. And you can see here also we've got a binding here. So in the previous one, we also didn't have any bindings. But now we do. And in fact, the user property on the car component is, well, it's bidirectional here, but we only need to use it as an input binding. So to do inputs in Angular, we don't use this kind of binding syntax, so we can remove that. In fact, what we use is another decorator called input. So now I specified the user property as an input into this component. And I can delete that. And because this is deleting property, we're going to use it in our template. Let me set that to protected so we can use it within our template. Now let's make sure I import a bunch of things. So the input comes from core and component here that should come from core as well. Oh, it came from the wrong one. So let me put them all in the same one there. And let's get rid of that. Okay, awesome. So now we also need to inject our contact service. Now if you remember from before, while we're in hybrid mode, it's best to inject explicitly with the inject decorator, or at least I think it's best to in inject explicitly. And what I'm going to store it as is a private contacts property. Don't then need to explicitly add it there. And again, let's, let's add some more imports. So inject, we also need to import contact service. Let's make sure it's all coming from the same place. This we have to go up a folder to grab those. Okay, and the delete user stays just the same as before. So I think we're pretty pretty much done with the card component, the JavaScript class anyway. And the next thing we need to do is basically update the template code. So again, this template code is using the old uh, Angular JS syntax. So we just need to go through and clean it up and make sure we're using the new more modern Angular syntax. And the first thing we need to do, we don't use ng source anymore, we just use source. We need to remove all references to control. So let me just, yeah, let me just highlight them just to make it easier. And then here, here, and here. And also it's not ng hyphen class in Angular, it's in fact ng capital class. The actual syntax after that is, is exactly the same. Now let's get rid of this, this, 
this here. Now, although this is a, a filter in Angular JS, it's also got exactly the same filter in Angular. So there's nothing we need to do specifically about this filter here. I'm going to come back to this UIS ref in a second. And we'll come back to this ladder later on in this lecture as well. But for click, ng click is now uh, this output syntax. And then again, we don't need the CTRL. Now, UIS ref is used by UI router. There's not really such a simple way of enabling that to be used in a hybrid application. And it can get a little bit tricky at times. So I found the best way to deal with this is just to specify the href yourself. Now it can get a little bit messy and the code isn't the, really the best and that's one of the one of the advantages of UIS ref. But just in hybrid mode, I find this to be about the, the simplest way of solving this problem. So we can just solve it pretty simply by adding some basic code like this. So we can add the change the href property with the attr.href and I'm explicitly setting it to a specific URL. And that's essentially what UIS ref was doing in the past. I'm just going to delete that. Okay, so we look pretty good there on our template. The one thing we need to deal with now is that default image filter back into our folder structure. And we can see here, this is the old AngularJS filter which we're using. And essentially what this does is if you uh, if the value that's passed in doesn't exist, then it will use our default image uh, avatar image that we have in our images folder. Otherwise, I'll just use whatever values passed in. So a pretty simple filter, really. But we need in Angular, we need to add a pipe to do ex ex essentially the same thing. So to do that, I'm just going to add a folder called pipes. Oh, I've already got a folder called pipes, but it's empty. So I'm going to inside there, I'm going to create another file. And it's going to be called pre pretty close to the same name, but not exactly the same name. So I'm going to call it default image pipe. .ts, and let's create an index.ts here as well, just to keep in sync with the others. Now I'm just going to actually copy and paste the pipe code here. Again, we're not going to cover Angular in this course. We're only going to cover how to migrate from AngularJS to Angular. But if you want to know what, what a pipe is, then again, go to my website, codecraft.tv, and I've got a free course on Angular, which covers everything here. But essentially, this is doing exactly the same thing as our default image filter. If you don't provide an input, it's going to return the default avatar image. Now to use this, we need to go into app.main and we need to provide it in our ng module. Now, unlike other components that we're upgrading, oh, so it's not main, main.ts. Unlike the other components that we're upgrading, so we, we upgraded search component and entry component, we don't need to, to add this in an entry components field. Entry components is only for things which we're downgrading also, if this pipe is only ever going to be used from Angular directly, so we can just keep it in the declarations like we would normally do. So let me make sure I import that in. And actually, while I'm here, let's add the card component. Let's import that. And again, because we're going to be downgrading this, I just need to add it to entry components as well. Again, let's make sure of coming from the right place. So now that looks good with our pipe. Um, let's go back into our components. Double check everything's okay with our card component. Yep, that's it. So there's nothing else we need to do. Now this default image is going to come from the pipe. This is not going to, well, it's, it's, well, it doesn't even know about the filters because it's Angular now, not Angular JS. So yeah, I think we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, oh actually, sorry. One thing I forgot. Very, very important is we need to actually downgrade our component. Now this is slightly different to before. So before, if you remember, I said that instead of dot component, we do dot directive. We give our selector here. So now it's the same as above. So it's CC card. And then here we're gonna call downgrade component, which is a oh, gonna call downgrade component. I'm gonna pass it an object. Now, as I told you before, in the search component, we need to provide the component property but this one's a little bit different because our card component takes as input some input. Then we need to also add this just for the downgrade process. Then we need to also add this in an inputs array on this downgrade component. 
function. So we also need to add it here. Now, if there was outputs, again, we need to add it to the outputs array. So let's add, import that at the top. And again, I like to store things this way. Okay, so we look good. So yeah, we look pretty good now. I've downgraded the component. Let me format document. Excellent. Okay, cool. Let's see this compiling. Okay, excellent. Looks like it's built correctly. So now let's go and view it in our browser. Let me hit refresh. And okay. Now I knew this was happened. Uh, I don't need to think that I didn't know. I knew this would happen. This is an expected failure. Let's have a look at the console. And you don't, you won't even see a console error here right now. So the problem here is, if you can see, we are kind of rendering the card, but each card doesn't have information about the user. But you can see, even we're even doing infinite scrolling, so some things do seem to be working. Now the reason this isn't working is something that I think you'll you'll, you'll get caught out on this quite often in the upgrade approach, and it's quite subtle. Now, the cause of this is that is basically our input here. So even though we've downgraded this component, this Angular component, and made it, enabled it to be used uh, inside Angular JS, so literally inside our person list component, so you can see here, and this is fine. This is, this is the whole purpose of why we've been downgrading it, so we can then use our Angular card inside the context of an Angular JS application. But the one subtle difference is that when you downgrade an Angular component, so it can be used inside Angular JS, and that component has some inputs or outputs, you have to use Angular syntax. So right now we're using Angular JS syntax because it's been used inside Angular JS. But just in this one case, we now have to use Angular syntax. So in this case, because this is an input we need to specify the square brackets, okay? Just to reiterate, CC card is now an Angular component that we've downgraded to be used inside AngularJS. It's currently being used inside AngularJS, but because it's a downgraded component and it takes an input, we need to specify the Angular syntax for inputs, okay? So you will get caught out on this quite a few times. I've been caught out on this many, many times, but just something you need to know and just to keep an eye out for it. So hopefully if that's working, now if I run the build process. And then if I refresh, yep, everything looks like it's working and I can delete and I can edit and save. Now, you might not notice this, but if you look carefully, the even though these functions are working, you're not seeing any kind of waiting effect or ladder button effect on there's no spinner showing so if you, sometimes you might be able to see a spinner on some of these other buttons but that's because we haven't actually dealt with the issue of the ladder components yes and that's what we're going to deal with right now we're going to deal with that ladder functionality so let me go back into my card component no in fact let me open up the terminal now how are we going to solve this if you remember i said there's several ways of dealing with third-party modules one of them is to rewrite it from scratch the other one is to try and find a more modern and angular version of that component and just use that one instead. And the third one being to temporarily upgrade. Now this one, there is actually a more modern version of the AngularJS ladder pack and it's actually called Angular 2 ladder. Don't let the two confuse you. Uh, even though it says Angular 2 ladder, it still works perfectly fine in Angular 5. So I'm gonna call it Angular 2 ladder and I'll add save. So it adds it to our package JSON. Okay, awesome, it's been added. So now if I close this, there's a couple of things we need to do in order to be able to use this. First one, let's go into main.ts and we need to add it as an import. So let's first import it. So it's a third party module. So I think it comes in after Angular and before my code. And then it's a module, so we need to add it to the imports list here. So the ng module imports, and that will bring in the ladder directives for us to be able to use inside our application. And now let's open up card component. And if you remember here, this is our ladder directive. And this is the old style syntax. So to make it work, we need to add the new style syntax where we're adding the, the square brackets. And that should be it. Now, just to make sure everything's working fine, I'm gonna set ladder 
to true so that we can actually see it working in the browser because sometimes it may happen so fast you can't see the spinner. So let me just build that. Okay, and now I'm gonna refresh. And you can see, yep, deleting. You can see the ladder is, is working because it's just always showing because we set it to true. So at least we know it's working right now. So to actually get it to, to work properly, what I need to do is set this to back to is deleting. And yeah, everything's working as we expect. So now we've migrated across our card component. And through this process, we basically had to re rewrite a filter over to a pipe. And we had to deal with the issue of, um, well, we had to deal with inputs. And I showed you how to deal with inputs and, and, and outputs, I suppose, for components. So when you're downgrading them, you have to deal with them in a special way by specifying the inputs property here. And also remember when you're using a downgraded component, you still need to use the Angular syntax. And the other thing we did was to fix the issue of the ladder package being an only an Angular JS ladder package by adding in or using an Angular, a modern Angular ladder package.